Guys, I have something new for you. Forget the Bermuda Triangle or the Devil's Triangle as it's called. Bermuda's waters are hiding a mysterious giant structure that's unlike anything else on Earth. That is according to scientists, guys. So forget about the Bermuda Triangle. It's not the biggest mystery in the Atlantic. The real mystery is underground. Scientists have just discovered something beneath Bermuda that basically, as we can say, it should not exist. And I know you guys, you like something like that, right? That's why I thought I have to let you know as quickly as possible. And it should not exist. But on the other hand, at the same time, it explains everything. What could that be, guys? We know Bermuda is a volcanic island and if volcanoes shut down, something specifically happens. The volcanoes on Bermuda, they shut down more than 30 million years ago. And normally that's the end, right? When volcanism stops, the crust cools, the crust gets denser, and then the crust slowly sinks. Bermuda didn't. This may not be widely known, but then most islands, they drown. Bermuda didn't. We'll get into this why they drown. But let's have a broad overview first. So for decades, nobody knew why. Why is Bermuda still there? Now we do know, guys. A team of seismologists has analyzed seismic waves from almost 400 earthquakes from all around the planet, not at Bermuda. So, and they use those waves to basically scan what's underneath Bermuda. It's like a CT scan of the earth. We can do this with the seismic waves. And what they found, guys, it's astonishing, I have to say. So beneath the crust where Bermuda is, there is not a normal mantle. Mantle of the earth. You see it in the picture here. Instead, there's an extra thick layer like a, a thick one, about 12 miles thick. So really massive. So why is it there? Because that layer that is there acts like a raft for Bermuda, keeps it afloat, so to speak, floating higher than the surrounding ocean floor. But the thing is, guys, that layer should not be there. It shouldn't. It's normally the crust ends and then the mantle begins but not underneath Bermuda, guys. So basically something was inserted in between. So what could be the most likely explanation for this? We could say that during the final volcanic phase of Bermuda, hot mantle rock was pushed upwards, but it never erupted. Basically it froze inside the crust and then locked in place. It's called magmatic underplatting. But the one that we have here in Bermuda, it's extreme. I mean, 12 miles thick, guys, think about this. Much thicker than anywhere else on Earth. Never ever have we seen anything close to that. So that's why scientists say it's unlike anything we've ever observed. It's not artificial, not mysterious in a sci-fi sense. Well, hopefully, right? Since now the latest theories are that the aliens are here amongst us and they're living in the vast depth of the oceans, which is hardly unknown to us, right? So maybe they put this there. I'm just saying that, well, we're talking about that a lot with 3i Atlas now having reached its closest point to Earth and now we have to see what's happening. If you're interested in that, by the way, videos are in the end screen. But guys, let's get back to Bermuda. It's very rare, very, very rare and very, very important. It means volcanic islands can survive long after the eruptions end because Bermuda is now the proof. Oh, I forgot, guys. And can you do me a favor? Please, please, please give this video an early like and click that hype button that supports my channel and pushes this video out to reward my work a little bit. Thank you so much. So what does that mean? Volcanic islands can survive. It means buoyancy can be permanent although there's no active volcano anymore. And it means the mantle can leave behind 
how we call it, fossil structures that holds islands up for tens of millions of years, as it seems. But Bermuda didn't survive by chance. We have to be clear about that. It survived because of what's hidden beneath it. And without seismic waves, we would never have known about this. So the Bermuda Triangle that is known as the Devil's Triangle is a loosely defined region basically in the North Atlantic Ocean roughly. It's bounded by Florida, Bermuda and Puerto Rico and since the mid 20th century it has been the focus of all these mysteries where people say aircraft, ships and people have disappeared there under mysterious circumstances. And now there's a new study that has been published about this mystery um, in Bermuda in the Journal of Geophysical Research Letters. So the scientists do believe that they have discovered the reason why Bermuda never sank. And I want to explain this a little bit in more detail. When the volcanoes shut down, the tectonic plate will usually shift away from the deep mantle hotspot and the cooling crust in the volcano will slowly sink. So there was a hot spot underneath Bermuda, like we have one underneath Hawaii, for example, but that is still active with volcanoes. And, but when the volcanoes shut down, the plate shifts away. And then the cooling crust and the volcano will slowly sink because the, the plate is going away. But we need to understand this. It's not that the, the plate starts moving because the volcano stops. The plate was always moving, basically. So what what's actually stops the volcanic activity is not the plate motion. The plate motion is driven by mantle convection. That's why the plates are always moving. The typical speed is roughly two to 10 centimeters per year. The motion is continuous and independent of volcanoes. And a volcano forms over a fixed, that is important, fixed magma source. And then magma rises from below, it breaks through the crust, and then it builds a volcano. And the plate keeps moving. So the, the volcano is carried along with the plate. The magma, but the magma source stays roughly in the same place. So at one time, the volcano moves away. So the volcano is eventually not longer above this magma hotspot. Magma supply then is cut off and the volcano goes extinct and a new volcano forms behind it most likely, directly above the magma source, right? This creates these chains of volcanoes where we're wondering why are there so many volcanoes? And this is why you see these lines like Hawaii, older islands, sea mounts, the Canary Island change, um, the Emperor Hawaiian Sea Mount change. So important, it's not that the plate moves away because the volcano stops. The volcano stops because the plate has moved away. And the hot spot that is underneath, that's a localized long-lived source of heat and magma with a fixed location. It's rising from deep within the earth and it's largely independent of plate boundaries. So when the hot material rises up from, from the mantle, the pressure drops as it rises and the rock partially melts and then magma forms and it rises into the crust. So the hot spot is relatively stationary and it can remain active for tens of millions of years. So don't worry about Hawaii just yet. So the earthquakes that they looked at, roughly 400 earthquakes, all of them were strong enough so that they could send clean vibrations through the earth. And then they have used those waves and especially what the waves, what waves left behind, they were able to paint a vertical picture of the rocks that lie beneath Bermuda as far down as to 31 miles. And the image that they received from this was really, really stunning. You see this here in the screen um, image. The thick layer of rock that is less dense than the rock surrounding it. So typically the mantle is expected to be at the bottom of the oceanic crust. But in Bermuda, this other layer is, we have to say, emplaced beneath the crust. 
within the tectonic plate that Bermuda sits on. Bermuda sits on an oceanic swell where the ocean crust is higher than its surroundings, rising from the ocean roughly 500 meters, that's 1,640 feet above the seafloor. So this finding, guys, suggests that the last volcanic eruption may have put this mantle rock into the crust where it froze in place and has created, you see it here, you see the seismic waves, has created this raft-like structure above the ocean floor. The origin of this layer is not immediately clear, so we can't say with 100%, but it looks like some magma may have stalled beneath the moho instead of erupting, and that has built how they call it, this mafic pluton over time. The scientists say, and I quote them here, we found volatile rich melts rising beneath Bermuda, and they could also have efficiently depleted and modified the uppermost mantle, leaving behind a lighter residue that's floating basically, right? But another possibility they say is metasomatic underplating, where the hot upwelling material, the magma, cracks the crust, lets seawater in, and then partially serpentinizes the mantle, fills this up. So despite roughly 31 million years of inactivity of volcanoes there, the oceanic swell still hasn't sunk. And while there is some debate over what might be happening beneath the surface, it's not 100% clear, um, there have not been any volcanic eruptions on the surface. So we can say there is still this material that is left from the days of active volcanism underneath Bermuda that is helping to potentially hold it up, floating in the Atlantic Ocean. And what the scientists say is, and that is interesting, the fact that we are in an area that was previously the heart of the last supercontinent um, is part of why the story is so unique. What the scientists are doing right now, they're looking at other islands around the globe and they're trying to see if they find similar layers to the one that they have discovered here underneath Bermuda, or if this is really one of its kind. And they make it clear that understanding a place like Bermuda, which is an extreme location, it's important to understand places that are less extreme and to get a sense of what are the normal or the more normal processes that happen on Earth and what are the more extreme processes that can happen? And since we mentioned the supercontinent, I just quickly want to tell you Bermuda is located about the former core of Pangaea, near where today's eastern North America was welded to northwestern Africa and Iberia before basically the Atlantic Ocean existed. And that is highly unusual for an oceanic volcanic island. The last supercontinent, Pangaea, existed roughly 335 to 200 million years ago, so a long time ago, and it included basically all major continental blocks, and it began breaking apart in the early Jurassic Age. And just as an information, before Pangaea, there was Rodinia, that's not a plant, <laughs> it's, it's a continent, but it's way older. So where was Bermuda then relative to Pang Pangaea? Bermuda was not oceanic in the first place, right? It sat within the uh, continental interior, so far from subduction zones, far from mid-ocean ridges, and far from active plate margins, where we usually see volcanic activity, right? So in modern terms, Bermuda's location corresponds to the interior of the future Atlantic Basin between what would become Eastern North America, Northwestern Africa, and Iberia, and this region only became oceanic after Pangaea broke apart. And why does this matter geologically? Because as I said, most volcanic islands, they come from plate boundaries or above clear mantle plumes. But Bermuda has formed long after Pangaea broke up in, old, in an old, thick and stable lithosphere in what used to be a continental core, like not an edge. And that already makes it anomalous. And when we're, say, the heart of the last supercontinent, that means thick, cold lithosphere, long-lived structural scars, like 
ancient structures and compositional anomalies, regions that behave differently than normal oceanic plates. And these deep structures then can redirect mantle flow, trap magma, promote underplating instead of eruption. And that's probably the reason why Bermuda is so unique. It's a plausible explanation because at Bermuda, we have a, a thick, buoyant root, anomalous seismic structure and long-term stability. So basically, 300 million years ago, Pangaea fully assembled. 200 million years ago, Pangaea begins to rift. 170 to 120 years ago, Atlantic Ocean opens. 34 to 30 million years ago, Bermuda volcanism occurs. And today, Bermuda still elevated due to the deep structure. And another point that makes Bermuda so unique, because most oceanic islands, they sit on young oceanic crust, on a homogeneous mantle. But Bermuda sits on inherited continental root influence, modified lithosphere, and a mantle that remembers Pangaea. It's kind of mysterious. Isn't this great? I really think um, it almost sounds poetic, but it's really scientifically meaningful. So Bermuda is unique because it sits above the former interior of Pangaea, a place where ancient continental structures still influence the mantle today and allows us to see this unusual buoyant root to form instead of like normal sinking of a volcanic island. So I hope you like this video, guys. Leave it a like, leave it a hype. If you want to support the channel, link is in the description. Thank you for watching. If you're interested what 3 Atlas is doing, oh, it's doing a lot. Check out the videos here on the end screen. And I hope to see you in a second, guys. Merry Christmas.